The bags of goods the train was transporting are still strewn across the railway track after Friday's accident in Southeast Democratic Republic of Congo. Authorities say the train lost control because of a traction problem. Several of its 15 carriages crashed down an embankment. Dozens of people were killed and more than 100 injured. We'd been travelling for three days. We noticed the train was not moving properly. All of a sudden, our carriage disconnected from the main part of the train and we started falling backwards. We couldn't even jump out. We ended up crashing into the bush. The freight train was travelling to Lubumbashi in the southeast, the third largest Congolese city. It's near the Zambian border and well known for its mining industry. On board were hundreds of passengers who authorities say shouldn't have been there. This accident involved a freight train, not a passenger train. Each month, we run four services, including one for passengers. Unfortunately, most of the time, people prefer to catch the freight train. Train derailments are frequently reported in this region because of poorly maintained tracks and facilities. Often there aren't enough passenger trains, so people use freight trains to travel long distances. The victims' families say that's led to a tragedy that should have been prevented. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.